All right, guys, and welcome to the Underdog's Edge. This is episode number six, season number two, and I'm excited that you're joining us here today, joining myself here today. And if this is your first time tuning into the Underdog's Edge, this is the podcast for movers and shakers, entrepreneurs, leaders, uh, community activists. If you're out there making things happen and making waves in the world, this podcast is for you. If you're a salesperson, if you're a marketer, if you are an inspiring world changer, this podcast is for you. And here at the Underdog's Edge, guys, we do not get lost in fluff, in theory, and philosophy. We're going to only talk about things that we can implement today in our day-to-day -day lives, things that we can take action on immediately, immediately. And this is the podcast of action, of taking action and getting results as fast as possible. And guys, I'm going to jump right into this podcast here in this episode, because oftentimes, in, in this podcast, in many other podcasts, we like to talk about, you know, entrepreneurship and, and the mental game that comes with that. And there is a, a massive mental aspect to entrepreneurship and business and sales and, 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 and leadership and the whole nine yards. But let's today we're going to talk about the physical component. And today's episode is health is wealth. If you do not have health, you don't have anything. You do not have anything. Your health, your physical health and your physical well-being is the foundation for the results. And, and, and not only that, for you to be able to enjoy the results, enjoy the, the fruit of your labor whenever you do receive those. If you're not able to enjoy that and enjoy life and maximize your life, it doesn't matter how much money you have in the world. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So I want to get into health is wealth. And that is the, the, the podcast title for today. And my background actually came from being a personal trainer for 10 years. So health and fitness is my is my background and it's my kind of my natural foundation that I built my, my whole life around. And it, it, it helps me in business. It helps me, um, you know, perform and, and to be able to, um, you know, achieve the things that I want to achieve in all aspects of my life. Health and my well-being is, is the foundation of that. So let's kind of go into some some challenges that a lot of people have when it comes to health and fitness. And that is just simply oftentimes we want to put, uh, we want to achieve a, a fitness goal. We want to achieve a health goal, but we don't have, we don't have the structure of the blueprint set up to, to achieve that. And, and I've seen this a lot when I was personal training for 10 years, I've trained hundreds and hundreds of clients and thousands and thousands of sessions. I would have clients come in and they would say, Blake, I want to lose, you know, 50 pounds in eight weeks or I want to gain 15 pounds of muscle in eight weeks or whatever the goal is. And the goals are worthy. They're, they're absolutely phenomenal goals and, and everyone should have a fitness and health goal, but they, they, they're coming into that, into that, that arena, into that space with not being active or not having any sort of momentum or any sort of structure to, to a health and fitness uh, regimen or program. What, what happens is if whenever you come in and you're trying to achieve a health and fitness goal and you're going from zero to 100, it's going to be very, very challenging to accomplish your goal fully because what's going to happen is your, your, your subconscious is going to kick in, your habits and your programs are going to kick in and they're going to, they're going to try to revert you back to where you're, you're most comfortable with. And, and what do I mean by that? For example, if someone comes in and they say, hey, I want to, I want to stop drinking sodas completely. I drink 10 sodas a day and I want to go from 10 sodas a day for the past five years to zero immediately. And I'm done. Now I do believe in the cold, thir cold Turkey method and it will work for some people. And you got to be a special individual for it to work very strong mental fortitude and your, 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 your powerful wine needs to be very, very strong, but most people will try to go from 10 to zero and they might be able to go from 10 to zero you know, in the first three days, but then the fourth day they're freaking out and, and they, 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 they binge out again. They drink 10, they drink 12 sodas to, to compensate. And they kind of backslide back into that, 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 uh, that regimen, what they're used to. And the reason why is because their habit and their, and their, and their foundation doesn't support the new goal because they built a blueprint that supports their current results. So the best way to go about these situations is say, you know what, I'm drinking 10 sodas a day. And I want to get to zero. But for the first two weeks, I'm going to go from 10 to eight. 
and I'm going to drink eight a day because I already drink 10. So I'm going to go to eight. I'm, so what am I doing? Not only am I cutting two sodas a day, I'm cutting calories. So I'm going to lose weight. And the consistency factor over that for the next two weeks means I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose some weight. And not only that, I'm building a habit and I'm detoxing my body from all this sugar. And the next two weeks, I'm going to go from eight to six. And the next two weeks, six to four and et cetera. Next thing you know, you're completely off soda. And not only are you off soda, you have lost weight because you cut calories at the same time. That is the best way to achieve health and fitness goals. But oftentimes we want the results and you should want the results. You deserve the results. But your foundation, your life foundation has to support that that outcome that you're wanting. And that's where most people miss the ball. They they don't understand that your foundation, your habitual patterns is what literally produces the results that you're having right now. We've talked about this with business and entrepreneurship and sales, but this goes into your fitness, your health and fitness and well-being as well. Whatever you do on a daily basis is, is what your what your body is going to reflect on the outside. So it's starting with habits and patterns. That's how you start building out long lasting change that not only are you going to get massive results and lose weight or gain muscle or have more energy and more well-being, but you're going to be able to sustain it for a lifetime. It's not going to be just a, okay, for the next 60 days, you lost all the weight. And the next thing you know, Christmas comes around and you put on 40 pounds and now you're heavier than when you first started. That's because you built everything on a rocky and shaky foundation. You didn't address the problem. You addressed the outcome. And so guys, health and fitness and well-being is so, so crucial in our life. I mean, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. You can have all the money in the world and it just doesn't matter. So health and health and, and your well-being is, is the foundation of your life. Now, we all know that it's important. I mean, that's, if you're watching this episode, you, you're already aware that, that health and fitness and well-being is important. And let's talk about how do we how do we start activating that in our lives? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to have a clear goal, a clear outcome of what we, what we want to achieve from a health and, and well-being aspect. Now, listen, it doesn't always have to be. I want to lose 60 pounds or I want to gain 20 pounds of muscle. It could be things like I want to be able to walk my dog uh, around the park, you know, four to five times a week. And right now I'm not able to do that because my legs are tired or my, my, you know, my knees a little, a little shaky because I have too much weight on my body. There, there, there's all kinds of different things that people want to achieve. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant, but the point is, is we all have something from a health and well being standpoint that we want to get better at. So it could be just, I want to increase my energy levels. You know, I want to I want to be able to have more vitality so I can have more energy to spend time with family and friends and and to be able to, uh, you know, maybe read the book that I want to read and not fall asleep. There's so many different things here. Or it could be something really big. Right. Like, look, I want to I want to I want to have a six pack in, in, in six in six months or I want to increase my bench press by 80 pounds or whatever it is. The point is, have a clear outcome of what you want to accomplish. Very, very clear and make it. Uh, quantitative where you can actually put a number on it, you know? So if you want to walk your dog around the park, you know, put a number on it. How many laps do you want to do per day? How many times per week? And then set a deadline. So set your outcome and your goal, but then put a deadline to it. I want to do it eight weeks. I want to do it 12 weeks. I want to do it 16 weeks. I want to do it in four weeks, whatever it may be. So that's the first step. The second step is now we have to build out your patterns, have to build out your habits to actually achieve that. And it's not only that, but to support that new goal. So what I like to do, what I used to do for my, my personal training clients is I'd have them pick one action, one habit to install in their new software. And what we would do is we'd only focus on this one thing. Now, we would still exercise and try to do everything else simultaneously. But as far as mental focus and and, and and setting an outcome goal, as far as what we do, we will only pick one. So for example, if you want to gain muscle, if you want to gain 15 to 20 pounds in the next eight weeks, then then a uh, an action goal would be, I am going to lift weights four times per week for the next eight weeks and only focus on that. The rest and all the details will work themselves out, but you need to get to the gym and work out and lift four times per week. That is the only thing that you want to put uh, base your success on is getting to the gym and working out four times per week. That would be an action goal, a habit goal, a pattern building goal. A next goal would be something like, you know, if, if you want to lose 60 pounds in three months, an action goal would be, I am going to go to the park 
three times a week and walk for an hour each time for the next four weeks. And I'm going to bump it up after that. That's an action goal. So now what you're doing is you're, you're getting control of your path. You're not putting your control and power into a 60 pound weight loss. You're putting your control and power to what you can do right now to get after it. And when you do that, a few different things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to feel in control of your progress. That's important. Number two, you're because you activate and you actualize and you execute on your action plan, the results are actually going to start happening because you're executing on action and movement. You're moving forward. Number three, the thing that's going to happen is you're building a habitual pattern that's going to support your new weight loss. So whenever you do lose that 60 pounds or you gain that 15 pounds of muscle, you have a set pattern of way of living that now that you're inclined to do this on a weekly basis, not only are you going to achieve your goals, you're going to not, you're going to maintain your goals. That's your new you. That's your new thermostat. Your thermostat is set to a new degree. It's very, very important whenever we're going after health and wellness and fitness that we, we set a clear goal but we only focus on the action, the activity. We, we put all of our power and our focus and our, and our success rate based on what are we doing to achieve that. And we start with increments. We incrementally increase things. We, we, we incrementally make things more difficult as time elapses. And by doing that, you're going to receive results. Not only are you going to receive results, you're going to build the right habits and patterns for your life. Not only that, you're going to build self-confidence in the process because you're in control of your path versus putting your control on the outcome. The outcomes, guys, always come after the, the way we do things and, we, and, and doing things on a consistent basis. That's just how life works. I don't know. I didn't design that. God did. But that's the way it is. So my challenge for you right now is if you're a mover and a shaker, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business person, you're a community activist, you're a pastor, whatever it is, and you're out there and you're helping people and you're creating waves of change and you're making action, you're a mover and a shaker in the world. I want you to, but, but your, your health and wellness and your fitness is, is, is slacking. You're drinking too many sodas, you're eating too much sugar, you're not sleeping enough. You're not lifting weights. You're not exercising. You're not walking around the park. You're not taking your dog to the park. You're not, you're not moving your body. Exercise doesn't have to be strenuous, but you're not moving your body. I'm challenging you right now to take control of the foundation of your life, which is your health and fitness. Health and fitness is, is, the, is the foundation of your whole well-being, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It starts with the physical body. So I'm challenging you to, to, to make it important and put a priority on it because I know we, we talk about business and entrepreneurship and all this stuff, but guys, if you don't have a physical body that's healthy and you don't have well-being, you're not going to be mentally uh, well and clear and you're, and you're, and you're going to have spiritual I mean, it, it, it leaks over to every aspect of our lives. So my challenge for you on this podcast is, is to one, set a physical and health and wellness goal. Number two, pick one action that you're going to commit to for the next six weeks. One thing, I'm going to work out four times per week, every week. I'm going to walk at the park five times a week, every week. I'm going to uh, drink a gallon of water every single day for the next six weeks. Whatever it is, pick one action goal and fully execute on it and only focus on that. And guys, the results will start to come. Momentum will start to build up. And the next thing you know, not only did you achieve your health and fitness well-being, but you're enjoying the process. You're becoming more self-confident and you're feeling in control of the whole situation. Guys, without health and well-being, without fitness, we don't have anything. It's so, so important. And it's not about being perfect. You know, it's about having harmony in your life. So, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to go enjoy pizza and Italian food and having a drink. And all. these things are these things are normal and, and you should enjoy the nice things of life. But 80 to 85 percent of your time of your life needs to be drinking water, living a healthy, clean life, getting enough sleep, exercising on a consistent basis, eating, you know, small meals throughout the day, drinking a lot of water. You know, taking care of your of your body, your physical body, stretching, you know, going, getting massages, you know, just in, in investing time and energy into the well-being of your body. This is this is the vessel that we were given to to achieve our goals. It's very, very important. So, guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode. If you like this episode, please uh, like, share, subscribe, show me some love. If there's a certain uh, specific topic that you want to go over 
in this podcast, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to uh, to, to listen to your input and, and possibly do a topic of your of your choice. Until next time, go out there, have a phenomenal week and crush it.